So to make this miniature plate of IKEA meatballs and mashed potato, I started off by making the plate. So I rolled out some white polymer clay and I used my circle cutter to cut two circles out. One was just a little bit larger than the other and I stuck the smaller one on the bigger one just to give the plate a bit of a height volume and I rolled these together as you can see and then I pressed in the smaller circle cutter again just to give the indent that you usually get on a plate. Next I moved on to making some meatballs. So originally I had tried to mix some colours um, yellow, purple and red to make brown. This didn't really work so I decided I would just paint it after I'd put it in the oven to harden. So as you can see I rolled these into little like spheres or balls and I did about 10 or 11 of these and to give these texture I used my scalpel so like a craft knife, a toothbrush which didn't work very well as I think the bristles were too soft and the best thing that I used was a cocktail stick and this worked really well to give the meatballs that texture. And then next I moved on to the mashed potato. So I mixed some white and some yellow to get the mashed potato colour. It was around half and half I think. So I had to work this together a bit as sometimes polymer clay can be quite tough. And once I was happy with the colour, I then just made this into like a oblong shape and I pulled a couple of pieces apart put it on the plate and again I used a cocktail stick just to add that mashed potato texture to it and make it look a bit more realistic. And as you can see it's already looking quite good once I start adding the texture of the cocktail stick. I then moved on to making some peas, so I just used some green polymer clay and made really tiny uh, spheres or balls as it were for the peas and I also stuck these onto the plate. And lastly I made another meatball to go on top of a fork that I already had. So the fork is just a miniature plastic one and I poked this into the meatball so that once it hardened it would be able to go back onto the fork. I didn't cook this with the fork on it, I took it off as it's plastic and it could melt. And like with the other meatballs, I added some texture with a cocktail stick. I then baked these in the oven for 30 minutes at 110 degrees celsius. And once this had finished hardening in the oven, I left it to cool for a bit as this is also part of the curing process. Once it had cooled down fully, I painted the meatballs using brown paint. I use um, Arteza acrylics as you can mix them with water easily and also they're fast drying. I then proceeded to make the gravy. I mix, mixed a Dijon colour of paint with um, some Mod Podge, which is basically just uh, PVA glue. This was just to thicken it as I don't have any of the um, liquid polymer clay and I didn't want the paint to sort of flatten after it dried. Once I was happy with the colour of the gravy, I then proceeded to paint this onto the plate of food, as you can see. I then also did the same with some red paint and some glue again to make that lingonberry sauce and I also added some gravy onto the other meatball that's going to go onto the fork. 
lastly I made a flag using a flag I printed um, I just googled the Swedish flag put it into Photoshop and made it really tiny and then I use a cocktail stick and some double-sided tape to stick this together and I use some glue to stick it into the meatballs and lastly I put the final meatball onto the fork thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed it also don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye